In this video, we're going to show you how you can import data into Notex. Notex features a powerful text import function, and this can help you to import text from different apps as Notex cards. Each row of data in your file will become one card, and each card has five fields to be defined. The title, the front text, the back text, a group, and a tag, which can be optional. If you have a lot of text cards to create, you may want to create the data in, say, Excel, and then import them into Notex. This may save you a lot of time. Furthermore, there are many apps that you might be using for collecting information, like Research or Read It Later apps, but now you want to import that data into Notex so you can process and edit them. We'll be showing you how to import data from a number of sources in this video. Let's create a new stack and we'll get ready to import data into Notex. So to open the text interface, you just open the stack that you want to add cards to, like I just did, and then you click the menu at the top of the screen, and you click on the grid icon, which is for text import. And this brings up the following screen. The most important part of the screen are the two buttons at the bottom, import the, the CSV text file and create the cards. So if you have a file in the right format, you just have to click the first button to find the file and open it, and then click the second one to generate the cards. And if you do that, it will just take a second or two to import cards, depending on how many you have. Okay, so now let's go into this in a little bit more detail. Um, but first of all, a caution. You'll notice that we have an icon here, a checkbox called Generate Thumbnails. Now, as you know, one of the things that makes Notex unique is its visual presentation and the, uh, the thumbnail image of each of, your, each of your cards. So Notex always creates a thumbnail image whenever you edit your card. Now, if we are going to create the thumbnails as part of the import process, this can take one to two seconds per card. So if you have a lot of cards that you're gonna be importing, that could take a long time and therefore we recommend you do not generate the thumbnails. But once you're opening the cards and editing them, then the card thumbnail will again be generated. So just be careful there. Uh, we tend to keep the generate thumbnails unchecked, uh, but you're more than welcome to keep it clicked. If you want to, just be prepared to wait uh, some time. You'll also note that on our interface, we have an add button. Uh, this allows you to manually add rows of text into the card, uh, into the card grid. Okay, so now let's look at the way to import a data file. If you have a data file and it has groups and tags, then they will automatically be generated if they don't exist in your stack, which is neat. Um, please make sure to just have one group and one tag per card in your input import file. And we'll show you a demo now of these features. So what is a CSV file? So a CSV file means comma separated values file. And it's a very common text format and many applications can handle CSV files like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets and many, many other apps. In this example, I'll use Microsoft, Out, Microsoft Excel. So here is an Excel file that I created earlier. And a couple of things to note here. First of all, as I mentioned before, the, the CSV file must have a header row. That header row is going to actually be ignored by Notex, but it will make sure that you have your data in the right columns. If you don't have a header row, Notex will still import your data, but it will ignore the first row of your file. So in our example, we have the header row uh, properly defined. The, the names actually can be whatever you like. It's going to ignore them. It's just really the fact that we've got, for your convenience, for, for your as you're creating the file, it's more just for our own visual convenience to make sure we've got the right data in the right columns. And obviously, if your data is not in the right columns, it's not going to import it correctly. So in this example, we've got a, a sample set of Spanish data uh, that we've just made up. And we have also included a title. I've just given it a number for each card. Then the front of the card is gonna have the English. The back of the card is gonna have the answer in Spanish. And I've also included some flags for groups and tags. 
you'll notice here that I'm using the same group uh, called Spanish 101, but I've given different tags, and NoteDex is going to automatically generate and allocate the groups and tags to the cards as you would expect. So, next stage, let's actually import this data. So, I'm going to save this file, which was in Microsoft Excel, and we're going to save it as a CSV file. That's the most important thing that we need to do. And in Excel, you just click File, Save As, and you get a number of options, and you choose CSV. And then we click Save. And I'm just going to replace the one I had earlier. Okay, so now it's saved. I'm going to close Excel. I'm going to come back to Notex, and I'm going to import the CSV file. So we click on Import CSV File. As you can see, Notex very quickly imports the data into the table. And this allows us to check the data before we import it as cards. So in this example, I made a deliberate mistake just to show you as part of the, the demonstration. And you'll notice my last line, I've got good afternoon for Buenos Noches. Well, actually, that should be good evening. So if I want to change it, I can just click on the row and we can edit that, uh, that row in Notebook. So I'm going to say good evening. OK, so now all that remains is for us to click on Create Cards. Now, in this example, because I just got a few cards, I am actually going to click Generate Thumbnails. And it will take about 10 or 15 seconds after I click Create Cards. So let's give it a go. Create Cards gives me a warning. I'll say OK. And now it's started. So now Notex is importing the card, generating the thumbnails as we speak. If I didn't click on Generate Thumbnails, it would have been just one second, and the data would have been uh, created and, and, and imported. But as we're generating the thumbnails, there we go. Now we're finished. And now we can go back to the stack. And there you see, with the thumbnail images of the cards, the cards have been imported. If I open a card, we can see that it's got the title, the front text, uh, the tag that I mentioned. Flip on the back, we've got the Spanish. And then just to be sure, go back to the groups, we've got the Spanish 101. So there you have it. That's importing CSV text files into Notex. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll do some extra videos showing some more advanced methods of importing text from different applications. Really just means you have to manipulate some of the text a bit more, uh, but we'll have those in some future videos. But for now, that's it. Thanks very much for watching and hope you enjoy Notex.